how have chain store sales along the Gulf Coast been affected by Hurricane Katrina? What are they doing for their employees in the region? Joining us from Boynton Beach, Florida, is Steve Odland. He's chairman and CEO of Office Depot, which has 10 stores in the New Orleans area. The company has donated $1 million to the American Red Cross. They did that on August 28th, prior to the hurricane hitting New Orleans. Mr. Odland, thanks for being here. I got to ask you, did you do that anticipation of the hurricane, sir? It was certainly a very forward thinking if you did. Well, Office Depot is located here in South Florida, and over the past year, we've experienced six hurricanes that have come through our area, including Katrina when she was a, a class one hurricane. And so we have experienced this kind of damage before. So we reached out on Sunday when it became apparent that Katrina was going to hit the Gulf Coast, and we uh, granted a uh, million dollars to the American Red Cross. And we also reached out and challenged other American corporations mm -hmm. to at least match uh, our gift. And uh, subsequently, we've seen the kind of damage that has happened in the area. Good for you. We really appreciate that. Are all of your employees in the region accounted for, sir? Well, so far, yes. We have a small warehouse and a handful of stores in the New Orleans area, and clearly that area is shut off for everybody. But uh, we have four stores up and running in the suburbs where we're using as staging areas for our employees to come and get care packages and aid as necessary. We're also working with FEMA and the local agencies to try to provide aid to the, uh, the rest of the citizens in and around the Gulf region. We've donated uh, products, office equipment, to the city of New Orleans in order to get their operations up and running again. This is uh, really a massive uh, effort, as everybody knows, and we're calling it the American Tsunami because of the impact that we think it's going to have going forward. And it's really imperative that people do give and that corporations match Office Depot and give to the American Red Cross mm -hmm. and the Salvation and Army and others because the efforts are going to be ongoing for many, many for months so, in this cleanup. For so long. If we could turn now to in terms of your business, what are you doing right now for those 10 stores in New Orleans? Are you trying to reopen them, simply lock them down? Are you concerned about looters at this point? Well, we've donated the contents of the five stores in the hardest hit area to the city of New Orleans. We've, we've invited the city officials to go and take what they need in order to get the city up and running again. In the other uh, stores in the area, we are bringing them back up as, uh, as we're able to. We've got generators and so forth, and that's how we're able to use them as staging areas to help with things like water and food, not only for our own associates, but for uh, the citizens in the area. So we think that the impact on our company will be relatively modest, but we're most worried about the impact on the citizens in the region and as well, we're, in, we're, we're really concerned about the potential impact on the economy. Uh, that's why we're Where do you we're think that's going? What, what, what do you think the effect will be? Well, you know, if this, if, if this is a, uh, an area that accounts for over 1% of our GDP, clearly there are eight or nine refineries in the area. We think that Congress needs to act quickly and that American companies need to give generously mm -hmm. in order to get this region back on their feet so that the ripple effects are minimized through our economy in the coming months. Mr. Odlin, thank you so much for your time. I know a lot of people agree with you right now. He's the chairman and CEO of Office Depot.